What's going on, people? What's going on, everybody? We are going to be talking about Roman Reigns, the head of the table, the tribal chief, your universal champion, taking on one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champion, Rey Mysterio, which I don't even think they acknowledge that. You get what I did there? Make sure you're to acknowledge your tribal chief today. But yeah. Rey Mysterio, one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, taking on the Universal Champion Roman Reigns inside of Hell in a Cell live on Friday Night SmackDown on Fox. Now, overall, one thing, I'm, I'm just going to give some negatives in real quick. I did not like the commercials. Okay, we got one commercial before the match started. Then when Rey Mysterio came out and, you know, he was just waiting for Roman Reigns, he won in another commercial. Then we came back, they started, you know, they started the match, everything cool. About four minutes later, they go in another commercial. Then the legit, when they come back, like two to three minutes later, they go in another commercial. I mean, they didn't even have picture in picture for crying out loud. This is one of the problems I have of good, like, big free TV matches is it's not commercial free. I mean, you should be like NXT when they have big matches, they make it commercial free. You should do this also for when you have some something big like this happening on your weekly product. You know, like the Hell in a Cell match. This is supposed to feel huge. And we basically only got to see the half of it because the rest was just a commercial break. You know, they should definitely fix all that. But the overall quality and what we got for a SmackDown, a pretty decent show. Like, other than the main event, I don't think it was nothing big that happened. But yeah, Roman Reigns, Rey Mysterio, they killed it. You know, they made it work. You know, all the negatives with the commercials and all that. But they made it work. The promo packages, the visuals, the graphics, all that was dope. The story was there. I mean, it was, it was just simple. It, it was simple. The story was there. It's on Father's Day weekend. So, you know, they're just trying to bury Rey Mysterio on Father's Day weekend. I mean, that's the plan. But yeah, overall, the match quality was pretty good. I enjoyed that. That was a pretty good match. Pretty good TV match. Now, if it was at the pay-per-view, for what we got now, added up to a pay-per-view with, like, you know, commercial free, that would have been even more better. But, you know what, for what we got, I'm not going to hate, you know, I'm not going to complain on a Friday night. It was a pretty good show, pretty good match. Roman Reigns and Rey Mysterio, they did what they had to do. And Roman Reigns, of course, ended up retaining his Universal Championship. Because, I mean, why will Rey Mysterio win? Let's just be honest. Why would Rey Mysterio win? If he was to win, they should have just done it on Father's Day at Hell in a Cell. Which would have been this Sunday. I mean, they would have been like, okay, more of a reason. But if he's going to throw in a smack, though. So it was predictable, even more predictable, that Roman Reigns was going to retain tonight. But overall, it was a pretty good match. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Do you guys think it was a good move to make a Hell in a Cell match, you know, Universal title match on SmackDown? Was it a good decision, bad decision, or a mad decision? Let me know all that in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. But with the whole thing that I want to get into is since I did not plan to discuss in this video, Jimmy Uso actually came out and raised the hand of Roman Reigns. Yes, Jimmy Uso. I was going to save that for another topic, maybe my predictions video, but I'm just going to throw it in here. Why not? Jimmy Uso came out. He basically came out there and said, you know, congratulations to Roman Reigns. You know, family comes first. You know, the whole bloodline thing. I mean, they made Rey Mysterio suffer. Like I, like I said again, they're trying to bury him on Father's Day weekend. You know, that's what they try to do. And you know what? For the most part, of the sake of a story, it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. And we're going to see what's going to happen next with this. But yeah, what do you guys think in the comment section below? Jimmy Uso versus Roman Reigns. Should probably be the next match. Probably a hell in a cell or money in the bank. We will see. But yeah, that was your SmackDown. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.